Hopefully it was huge. Um, just talking to Biz before the game, just talking about how many we can get. You know, we have to take advantage whenever they go small. You know, they did a, a great job of rebounding last game, and this game we wanted to make a statement as far as me and him coming out, setting the tone, offensively and defensively rebounding. You guys made a statement on the score, right? I mean, that was just a lot of game. But, I mean, is that the kind of statement maybe you need when, you go, when you're getting set for a team like Cleveland? Um, I don't think we need to make a statement. Uh, it's just all about us and how we play. Uh, focus on us and what we can control and not worry about what other people think of us. You know, I spent our MO all year long is focusing on these men in this locker room and how we play out there on the court and worry about things we can't control rather rather than things we can't. You appear to be talking quite a bit before the game tonight. Can you share any of what you said? Yeah, um, I just make a speech before every, every game. Um, this time was just all about our satisfaction. You know, I had one question for everybody. Are we satisfied with what we've done individually and what we've done collectively as a team? You know, how far we've come. You know, do we want more? Do we want to go even further? Do we want to make history? Do we want to keep playing or do we want to go home? And um, hopefully, you know, that was positive energy for my teammates. And, uh, Patrick, yeah. you're, the, you're the last of the sack. Yes, I am the last one. Yep. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a business. You know, the NBA is a business. Do I miss those guys? Yeah. You know, I've been with those guys for years. Chuck, since my first year in the NBA, John, Miss Gravis. Yeah, I miss all those guys. I wish that they, you know, could be here since they were a part of what we have now. You know, without them, without that trade, you know, without the success we had that year, we wouldn't be where we are now. So um, at least one of us is still here, you know, but do I wish those guys were still here? Yeah, but at the end of the day, the NBA is about a business. and. That's all that really matters. Can you talk about the way Kyle and Demar play? I mean, the last three games, they really seem to, uh, yeah. I guess, all the criticism they took went out the window after the last three games. I mean, yeah, you know, the, uh, those two guys, you know they're going to bounce back. You know, no matter how many times they have games, they don't feel like they play like themselves. At the end of the day, they're all-stars, they're our leaders, they're the heart and soul of this team. So no matter what they're going through, they're going to bounce back. And that's what they've been doing lately. Their shots have been falling. They're taking shots that they've been taking, you know, the whole playoffs. And uh, tonight, Kyle and Amara, their shots were falling consistently, and they were playing great defense, too. And that Players' Tribune piece, you wrote that you guys aren't afraid to lose. You're excited to win. Mm -hmm. Is this sort of performance that you had in mind when you when you wrote that? I think so. You know, coming out and doing the things that we need to do in order to get a win. You know, dominating offensively and defensively, talking, communicating on the defensive side of the ball, finishing plays with rebounds, and establishing our all-stars on the offensive end, and then the rest of us collectively putting up a solid effort. You know, transition, isolations, pick and roll, just every aspect of the game, just performing it well and carrying out the scouting report and just doing what we need to do in order to get the win. So when I wrote that, yeah, you're right. Why has this team been so good at bouncing back after tough losses? Um, I think a lot just because the three years together, you know, um, all the ups and downs that we've endured together and collectively as a team. Uh, adding on additions, you know, guys who have been in the playoffs, who have been deep in the playoffs and had successful roles on teams throughout the NBA and who have been in situations like this before. So just adding those pieces together and just realizing that we have something special here, I think is allowing us to bounce back. Obviously, you've become pretty connected with the community. What do you think making it to the conference finals means to the city and the country? Oh, well, hopefully they're happy, you know, but at the end of the day, uh, us, you know, we're not satisfied. You know, we want to continue to keep pushing forward, keep moving forward, keep getting better as a team. Shout out to James Johnson, my favorite player on this team, my brother from another mother. Uh, happy he got into the game tonight. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, but uh, yeah, for the fans, I hope they're happy. You know, I hope they're not satisfied either. I hope they want more. I hope they want more from us. And as a team, we want more from ourselves as well. There's a pretty cr incredible celebration going on out there right now. I think. Hopefully, they celebrate all throughout the city, everywhere in the streets. Be safe out there. Don't do anything too crazy. But hopefully, everyone's celebrating and enjoying this win. They all deserve it out there. Look, if I had said that, uh, what does the team like Cleveland present? Tough matchup from every position. You know, of course, you got LeBron. We don't really talk about him, but Kyrie's been playing so exceptionally well throughout these playoffs. K. Love and what he's able to do. Tristan Thompson, offensive rebound machine. Uh, J.R. Smith, you know, who's knocking down full court threes. You know, contested, and the bench is playing exceptionally well. You know, and they're playing great defense. So, uh, challenge from every aspect, from every area of the game. You know, we have to play our A game. Um, Every single night, especially on the road, we can have no mental mistakes, no letdowns in order to get a win out of there.
LeBron had mentioned early in the series that he was looking forward to maybe playing Dwayne Wade in the Eastern Conference Final. Uh, any message to LeBron? No message at all.